Hello everybody. Slightly different uh, video today as you'll have gathered from the title I guess. Um, today I'm going to be looking at treating my trees with uh, vine weevil killer and uh, this is a Persian parotia, no a Persian ironwood, a parotia persica um, which will be featuring in a video at a later date and uh, here's one of the telltale signs that you can look out for if indeed you have the dreaded vine weevil is notches cut out of the leaves such as this one as you can see it's not part of the normal leaf shape it is in fact notching in the leaves and that is what the adult vine weevil does um, could get similar damage from uh, leaf cutter bees and uh, I don't know you can't really tell which is which but I would always err on this side of caution having been bitten by vine weevil quite badly in the past when you check a tree over winter and it just falls over in a pot because the vine weevils underneath have completely eaten the, uh, the entire root mass um, it's a bit late to worry about it then. So I always treat my trees spring and summer, usually March and September. I'm a little late this time. Um, here's the package. It's just arrived in the post and um, this is a vine weevil killer and if you've never seen one and that's what the, the adults look like and I'll try and um, either find one of my own photos or a picture from the web to insert here of the uh, the grubs. That's what the grubs look like and they are the ones that do all the damage. Um, you could almost forgive these things if it wasn't for the damage that they can do. As they say they can kill a tree entirely so this comes in a little package with a little freezer bag type arrangement to keep them cold um, and if you can't use them straight away you need to put them in the fridge and what you get is these this little bag and uh, January to May August to December they're saying for these ones um, this particular species Oh, entomopathogenic nematodes Steiner Nema Veltei. I've probably butchered the pronunciation on that entirely. Um, is one species, and these can be used when the weather's colder. So uh, earlier in the spring or later into the autumn than some of the other species. So if you're doing it about now, you need to be looking for them ones that say they can be used late on in the season. Okay, so according to the instructions, I've uh, put two and a half litres of water in this bucket. And uh, let's move in a bit closer. You can see, you can actually see what the nematodes look like in the packet. Um, what I've discovered from past experiences that there's always bits lurking in all the corners so you want to get it all out if you can uh, it's a kind of powder and all of those pieces have microscopic dehydrated nematodes I guess I don't know that they are dehydrated but certainly you don't want to waste your worms when they're on your side. There we go. So, as you can see, it's very much like a powder. It's slightly sticky. Um, it does resemble flour to a certain extent, but it's a, a slightly stickier texture. So it's not entirely dry. Um, this particular packet will treat 50 square litres of soil um, square litres, square metres of soil 
and it's, you know, on the larger size, I find I need two of these to do all of my trees and pots. So I'm actually rinsing the packet into the water to make sure I get them all. And then, here's an old bit of wood, give it a good stir. So, according to the pack, this will do five uh, eight litre watering cans. Well, I don't have an eight litre watering can, I have a five litre watering can or a ten litre watering can. Um, but what I like to do is to make it up to the eight litres uh, that the packet recommends. So you, so you have 500 500 mils, that's approximately, of uh, the solution into eight litres of water. So put that into there and then we'll top up the watering can with the hose to the 8 litre mark on the side. So that's my 8 litres of solution and uh, what I then do is I'm going to use this watering can, the 5 litre, which I've added this uh, modification, a length of tube, piece of wire, um, all held in place with some uh, gaffer tape and that just restricts the flow from the end and I like to use this when I'm applying uh, well, fertilizers and the like or in this case the nematodes or anything that I'm going to apply to the soil of the pots because it gives me more control of what goes where and means that I'm putting this solution of nematodes into the pot this is me spilling it all down the side of the watering can into the pots that I want them to go into rather than all over the floor or all over the bench Don't worry, I'm not going to make you uh, watch me water all my trees with this stuff. Just going to water a couple of the pots so you can see where it goes and what I mean with this can. Um, if I show you the floor under the bench, an important step, as you can see, is the floor is very wet. An important step is to make sure uh, that these nematodes have a wet pot to go into and that they're kept moist, not allowed to dry out. Uh, because these uh, nematodes swim through the moisture, swim in inverted commas, between the particles of the soil, um, searching out nematodes, uh, searching out the grubs rather, so that they can, um, well, they, they kind of infect them with uh, bacterium, as I understand it. Let me get the piece of paper and read it out to you proper. As you can see now, I know the water is running out the bottom of the pot. And I know that that means that the pot is saturated. And I can move on to the next one. And that means there are plenty of little bugs in these pots doing what needs to be done. Okay. Don't watch this bit if you're eating your dinner, folks, but uh, uh, they uh, invade the vine weevil grub uh, by a natural opening like the mouth and feed on the contents of the vine weevil larvae. They release a natural bacterium inside the larvae which kills it and uh, breaks it down so that they can ingest it. Which sounds absolutely delightful. Um, yeah, it says make sure that the soil is moist for two weeks after application well obviously i'm not going to allow the pots to dry out um, but i am going to water a little more sparingly 
than I might otherwise. Um, but the next couple of weeks, because I don't want to be flushing the nematodes out uh, of the bottom of the pot before they've done their job. So I shall be allowing the tops of the soil to dry off um, and then give it a good water. The one last thing I wanted to mention uh, is, let me show you the sky. There's the sky, dull and grey. Never apply these things in bright sunshine is one other piece of advice. Um, they are photosensitive sensitive to sunlight and um, you don't want to kill them off, or at least the top layer of them, um, by putting them out there when the sun is baking down on them. So there you go. A little peek along at some of the trees. You can see that there are some yellows and reds coming as autumn is approaching. Well, it's upon us really, but uh, yeah. So that's it for this one. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. A like, a subscribe and a comment would be nice. Stay safe everybody.